What is going on everybody, welcome back to Civilization 5 as Turkey on the Earth 2014 mod. Last video, we got Pakistan and China into a war with China, in, into a war with India, and then took these two cities from India ourselves. Hopefully we can hold on to them, hopefully they are preoccupied with the Chinese and the Pakistanis, and don't drop any nukes on us, Hope I'm sort of hoping they don't nuke us. But who knows, hopefully, you know, they're going to nuke China a bit. But this is good, especially if they weaken China, if they weaken each other, that is going to mean a lot less threat to us in the future in the East. Because one-on-one, -on -one, India would heavily destroy us. Now, the big questions are, what happens to the Saudis now? See, I freed them to get a bonus. I mean, we can just keep them here, they're locked in. They're not going anywhere. They're just sort of in the middle of our empire. It's all good. But next step, I guess, obviously assuming we hold on to all this stuff, is Greece, which will really anger Germany, France. <coughs> what happened there? Germany, France, and Britain. But it should be okay. And also, we're now losing money because I lost the trade route to India, which I'm going to try and rebuild somewhere coastal. Probably Jerusalem will get a cargo ship going out and get the money flowing in again. Obviously, we're paying for both China to go to war with India and we paid India to declare war on Pakistan obviously India's probably now realized what I was trying to do and we did not even get attacked India is not not interested in the slightest oh my goodness although they are approaching in the east so did anything happen with the Chinese in India not yet no nukes or anything just yet and it looks like Pakistan might survive which is incredible hmm Okay, so step one, we need to bomb this aircraft carrier out of existence, even though it's got no planes on it, just in case, because that's probably what they're aiming to do. They are probably trying to put some planes on it in the sea, so we need to make sure that doesn't happen. Production, like I said, cargo ship would be lovely. There we go. And again, these units are going to try and cross the Red Sea, which is now fully under under what's, what what is it under it's under turkish control finally oh turn the map on thing we don't really need to bomb anything else we could like help out i guess but there's no need to oh there's a lot of upgrades coming let's just get everyone sorted out here to heal and what to do and then we'll do the upgrades things later okay you come around here protect our coast there we go automate <clears throat> production what shall we build here in Sudan the former Sudanese city let's go for an Okal and proposal Ooh. who should we embargo I don't know there's there's really nothing to do nothing ever gets voted in world ideology let's not anger everybody um, world religion it doesn't let oh there we go Islam there we go let's see if we can get the world religion I mean it's unlikely because in terms of actual countries or civs, we're the only really Islamic one, Saudi Arabia and Pakistan actually as well. But yeah, I guess there's a lot more. Okay, logistics, fortify, heal, promote units. Okay, so logistics, heal. It's the best thing about relying on your air force. They become all very, very good. Promote a unit, siege two, was that? Heal and next turn. Hopefully nothing too bad happens obviously bombing that unit is that brazil oh no that's south africa i was gonna say that is a weird looking cargo ship color scheme <clears throat> oh well china conquered vietnam first obviously that was one of india's city-state allies and i guess you know that's good for china they take a bit of land down here will they go after india though that's the question obviously oh some atomic bombs here obviously once you use your nukes that's it there's no more which is why i'm saving mine as more of a defensive thing probably against Russia mainly because they're still looking very threatening to the north of the Black Sea <clears throat> although we're probably probably more than capable of taking them on now I mean soldiers fifth land we've moved up another space in the land demographic since we've conquered the southern tip of the Arabian Peninsula this is all good news hopefully we can just pull these cities out of unhappiness money is going up again despite us not yet using a cargo ship now, i need to remember to buy a fusion plant in ankara 
to increase production, which in turn should technically increase wealth, I guess. Because we're just producing wealth at the moment. There's nothing to build specifically. Stay there, stay there. I thought I said stay there, everyone. Stay where you are, everything. Cargo ship to Washington. Yeah, okay, so we can't trade with India anymore. That is not a surprise, <laughs> to say the least. Choose production. Nuclear submarine. East India Company. We can finally build it, so we'll build it. A little bit late, but anyway, a zoo. Okay, we need banks. Promotion, cities, cities, or siege, I think it's called, but bonus against cities. Ankara, purchase. What do we want to purchase? Fusion plant, and we're one turn from that cargo ship in Jerusalem. I can't believe we just. It's, it's been so easy. So we've taken a lot more oil as well. We've now got 22 oil, so we've probably got more oil than anyone else in terms of the sieve. So we could start exporting that for probably quite a bit of money. When you think about it, if there's nations that need more oil, definitely sell them some for a ridiculously high price. Obviously, having the most, that's what we can do. Okay. Oh, I feel bad. I'd feel so bad for Saudi Arabia if we took them out. Like we brought them back to life. They're our friends. We're not. I'm not going to kill Saudi Arabia, no matter what you say. In the comments, I'm sure that little few farmland. There we go. They're we're best buds. They can stay there. They agree that they're not. They're not getting out of this. They've got their one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tiles in their city for themselves. Next step, Athens and Belgrade <clears throat> which will be a big advance because then we'll be up to Rome and then our expanded version of the Ottoman Empire will be complete pretty much technically yes this city would be needed but we'll ignore that they're technically part of our empire because they're our best bud so we're gonna keep it that way everyone's just gonna chill Cargo ship, where are we going? Seal, 39 gold, but it will probably get destroyed by India. So we're going to go to London, and then we can obviously switch it back to Seal in the future. Research lab, no, bank first. Bank, why do none, how would these people live without banks? Wait, where's a university easier to build than a bank? Whatever, you do that. Okay, we could probably focus on piecing out. Is Nigeria not sending some sort of death army towards us, is it? No. Who else are we at war with? Angola. Is that Angola? We at war with you? We were at war with Vietnam, but luckily the Chinese dealt with that. Um, we were at war with Colombia. And is it one more of these nations in South America? Bolivia. Okay. <clears throat> I'll make sure to remember to peace out with them at some point. Jeez, we are like the fifth superpower now. You've got America, Russia, China, India, and Turkey. That is not something you'd expect to hear, really. I mean, we could wipe the floor with Germany and France and Britain quite easily. So I think it's probably the next step of the plan. I don't want to go any further east. It's not very nice over here. It's just mountains and... We can let Afghanistan survive. We're trying to turn them into a friend anyway with our spies, so we may as well leave them be. Ooh, okay, so China is already bombing in the east of India, so that is going to again split them. Split India's focus, so come on Pakistan, do, do your job. Okay, so some elections being rigged in Rome, Casablanca, Kenya? Why? Ah, oh, Kenya must have become friends with India because I was my spy is in Kenya. I'm trying to become friends with them. Rush backwards. <laughs> All that time we spent moving over. Go that way again. Uh, oh, 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 we can just bomb the Kenyans. It's all good. We could expand into Kenya. Minor warmonger penalty, and a huge chunk of Africa at that point. Hmm, Kenya has tempted me. Um, India are not fighting back, so it's tough. It, uh, yeah. This is our chance. They declared the war on us, so... You know what? We're going to go ham this game. I've decided in the back of my mind, we're doing so well, we can't let this... F okay, I can't go any further. Damn it. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's move all of Istanbul's jet bombers into Cairo, so that they have a bit of a better range. 
I think we can put them all there if we have the capacity to do so looks like India is not going to remain a problem for too long okay so let's try peace out with Nigeria who's actually under a siege from somebody can't peace out with them yet what about you guys no okay fine okay so we need to get units nearer to Kenya that may be that's what's going on here. Well, we can actually send the battleship and destroy around to conquer the Mogadishu. That is at 19 population. Jeez. No wonder these two at one. That city's stealing all the food. Okay, well, we'll be going for those cities. We've got some planes a little bit nearer just to make sure we can get some stuff done. Elections rigged. Nice. Next turn. And I'm focusing on this. I think China may be about to drop some drop some nukes uh, has India done anything to China doesn't look like it obviously America nuked China early on especially you can still see Beijing quite low population probably lower than where it started there we go Hanoi invaded by China also we don't want to make we don't want to make we don't want to feed China into becoming stronger either they're also very scary but we we are looking good we are looking really good as Turkey I think Africa and Europe is the way to go now <clears throat> okay yep tough for you Brazil we're five turns away from the spaceship engine it's all good yep it looks like they're fighting over this eastern city hopefully and Calcutta being bombed it doesn't look like nukes are being used in this war which is not good come on use them obviously they probably know that if they use them they will be unable to rebuild any more it's probably in their minds a little bit you know, AI probably not too much in their minds. Need to make sure these mechanised infantry survive next to Kampala and Nairobi. We'll have one going to each one. Then we'll be very deep into Africa. Like, South Africa will not be far away anymore when we get that far south. This is going to be big. Big times. Wait, who can you attack? Oh, there's another mechanised infantry there that I didn't see. Dang it. Okay, so we'll try and bomb him. Can the ones up here attack? This could be really annoying. Yes, they can. Okay, it's gonna, it's annoying because they're so far away. And no, you can't. Okay, that's the end of the range for the ones in that city. Battleship comes sort of off the coast. Open fire. Okay, right, so Jerusalem jet bombers should be able to hit Mogadishu. Yes, lovely, lovely, jubbly. 19 population in this city. Soon all going to be ours. It's going to take a while, actually, to gr control this city. Are we, can the ones up here, can you reach Mogadishu? No, oh, you're one away. That sucks. Okay, you need to move as well, then. If we move them just south a little bit to Baghdad, that should provide us with what we need. Boom. Yep. Okay. Keep moving. Oh, stupid destroyer. Stay there. <clears throat> okay. How far can you push into their territory? Not too far. Heal. We still can't bomb these cities. Oh, okay. So, but you can. Can you hit Mogadishu? Okay, so we may as well go for Mogadishu with these bombers that are already in Africa. If we can't yet get to the other two cities. And this looks like it's going to be a solid job done in one turn. Destroyer is ready, hopefully, to deliver the killer blow. Yep. Annex. Unhappiness 15. Jeez. Okay, so the mechanised infantry will take some time. But boom. That is good progress into Africa even deeper into Africa but more resources it's all good how much uranium is that another two uranium for Turkey <clears throat> hopefully no one is going to be too angry Russia's already angry at me for my United Nations proposal no one is seems to be too mad like no you'd think someone would have declared war on me by now like if Turkey did this in real life obviously 2025 over the course of the next 10 years I think something would be done about it. Obviously, there'd be bigger focuses on like what's going on in India and 
China had that war with America early in the campaign. And obviously this Korean thing. <coughs> but there we go. Mogadishu is now Turkish. And soon will the rest of Kenya. Which means, boom, much more land. Come on, we need to... We're not going to be first or second. Russia and Canada are probably very far ahead. We're up to fourth now, actually. If we can get to third, I presume third is China. And the USA is... We probably just overtook the USA for land. I feel like that is quite likely. Well, the USA has got Alaska, so I'd say oh, maybe they've got more than China. Maybe we've overtaken China. Either way, it's hard to tell. Uh, okay, so you need to... Damn it. Stupid mobile Sam. Move. Can we hit any cities yet? Boom. Okay, there we go. So we can start bombing Nairobi. There we go. Logistics. Boom. Boom. That This is not effective. Come on. See, these jet bombers aren't the greatest. I mean, the ones with Siege 3 are pretty good. Especially Logistics Siege 3. But other than that, just having so many of them, it's it's okay. It's not too bad. Bang. Hopefully we can... If we have some attacks, if we have lots of attacks left, I can always... Has this got logistics? It's got everything. It's got. Has it got air repair? No, there we go. Air repair would be nice. I do not want to attack that mobile Sam. I'll probably get destroyed. Okay, there we go. Now that that city is down to zero health, we can begin to bomb the mobile Sam. Hopefully they won't get too heavily damaged. Okay, yes, you've got logistics. Good. Let's try to get rid of this mobile Sam. Come on. Ah, dang it. Come on, Jerusalem bombers. We've got so many planes. <clears throat> that did not do enough. Come on. This is risky. Boom. There we go. Dead. And can we reach... Okay, we don't have vision yet. Everyone else can just sort of fortify or heal or something or other. Stay there. Ooh. Heal. Yep, do that. Just stay there. Uh, research lab. Yes, please. And Istanbul. Choose production. Caravanersary. Why not? One turn left. Last building to build. Heal. <coughs> there we go. Mogadishu for the win. Nairobi is going to be next. The next great city of the Turkish Empire to fall. Oh, we're going to get Lake, Vic Lake Victoria. Six food. So we're probably going to see like both these cities at one population. It's probably going to grow quite quickly once we take over. These both went from one to four. And f Ooh. So he's willing to give me all this. I don't want all this. I don't need all your resources. I want your cities. So in the east, there's Mumbai at 30 population. That would probably destroy our population but Arkmadabad is quite a large city on the west coast of India should we take it I mean would he give me that uh, no okay he took it out of the deal um hmm hang on I'm just gonna accept this oil all these resources some gold make peace with everyone sounds good to me boom <coughs> oh no did I just peace out with Kenya oh yeah. Oh, okay, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I messed up. Messed up big time. It's okay, because they're a city-state, and I'm going to declare... Do I have to stay out of war with them for a certain amount of time? I think I do. Ah. That was a bad move. But anyway, let's focus on what we're supposed to do. We took the big city, that's what matters. We took the uranium. That is also what matters. Let's set our sights now on target 5 on my list. Greece, which Germany also appeared to be looking at quite interestedly. Okay, are India going to make peace deals with anyone else? Because they haven't lost anything yet. They're just being... They don't want to fight on as many fronts as they were, obviously. <coughs> okay, everyone can heal then. Because I messed up. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, if I just put the... Oh, you need to get out of... Kenya, or they'll not be too happy with us. Run away. Heal. Uh, siege 3. Heal. Heal. Production. Nuclear submarine. Okay, whatever. Yes, if we need one. Fusion plant, nuclear plant, monument. <laughs> Just 
Come on. Oh, do we still have to pick one of these? Like, okay, we're running out of options. More great people. There we go. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.